everybody it's me lady vivian i am here on the veil and we are in a little safe room that we created inside of the giant cave system we've been exploring and um i am uh i gotta make a little note here one second i'll call her a bit later uh in the middle You know when you have the family that does not understand that you stream? Yeah, that streaming is live and you can't just like stop and call their mom. <laughs> That's how it is. I used to be that mom. Okay, water hydrated. Here we are on the veil as i said and we got um, some of our stuff here we need to like put some of our stuff away that we have in our hands and above us is a mine shaft and we're going to go explore but it is full of cave spiders nasty nasty wasty little beasts and they have already hit me twice and um they are uh yeah mean and I've used up all my milk so I do have golden apples which I'm going to replace my golden carrots with golden apples at the moment I actually don't need the fish in here I don't think there's cats in here put the fish away we don't need zombie meal zombie flesh oh I put that I put string and spider eyes in here and there's room in there for them so let's do that spider eyes and string and um, there's probably room for lapis in here Yes. Yeah, there we go. A little organization. I know, I know. Inventory management, always boring. Um, maybe I'll take this box with me. Go in there. You go in there. And there's still one more spot. Go in there. Okay. You guys can go back. Everybody else can go back in the thing. We got a lot of diamonds. We found a lot of diamonds. That's good. Maybe we'll find some treasure in the mine shaft. That would be nice. You go there. We need two of these. Oh, uh, we don't need that. Uh, okay, I guess you could go in here. That there. Okay. I really think let's put some of this stuff here. We need blocks. Blocks on the hot bar, man. Every time I don't have them, it's not. I'm never the person who thinks of. Of going up right I just don't think of it but uh, we were mending that with the other things okay no milk see this is no milk we can't go get milk it's too far away uh, we're too far we're too far down here and we're gonna have to be like um, probably I'm probably gonna have to jig straight up for the thing how's the torch situation let's go in with a few more torches definitely and you know what i think we need the water on the hot bar because spider webs and cave spiders well, let's go see what's going on here hey hi welcome whoever came in good to see you very scary mine shaft uh problem coming and clearly we didn't light that part up so let's get you guys gone and you yeah i see you sir i see you sir over there I see you over there, and I see you over there, and I see you over there. Yep, goodbye. I know. It's just tragic. I'm so mean. I am the meanest. I am the meanest. There. A little better. And the spiders got me twice, and I have no milk left, and it's up here. So my thought was to have golden apples and I'm going to actually eat one ahead because you can eat them whenever you want. I eat two. It doesn't help you to eat two. That doesn't help. So don't do that. Crazy person. Okay. And up here, right above the, our little house is where this horrible mine shaft is. And I tried to put some torches, but wait, Wait a minute. No, it isn't. Did I close it off? I didn't close it off, did I? No, I don't remember closing it off. Well, where is it now? I don't know. Oh, it must be over there. 
That must be what these stairs are for. Stairs, stairs. Yes, there it is. So there was a little, um, what? What hit me? Ow. Well, I hit the spider anyway. That was a plus. No, Ixnay on the hitting me. That was so rude. That was just so rude. You are so rude, dudes. I don't want these spiders to kill me, frankly. I don't know why anybody doesn't, why they don't understand that. They seem to be very determined. I hear you. Where are you? You're over there. But you're not a spider, right? You're just a zombie I'm trying to get in there. just want to light this thing up before I get died. I don't see where their little spawny place is though. Where's your little nest, guys? Is it up there or is it in here? I could, I suppose, close that off. There's a spider who doesn't see me yet. in there. I see your eyes. I really want my dynamic lighting back. There's going to be so many things in here. I hear the hissing and stuff. I'm actually terrified. Who's with me? Somebody be with me so I'm not alone. Get the game, come play. There's a creeper. He would like to kill me. To which I say, not today. Lava's very helpful. Thank you, Lava, for being very helpful. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Water actually also quite helpful. Too bad it's not milk. I still haven't seen the spawner though. I know it's here. Like you can't have cave spiders without a spawner, right? There we go. Nobody hiding up here.
can care about all that other stuff later. Giant wall of lapis. We really gotta. We really gotta work on despidering our location. Not a fan. Not a fan in any way of those boogers. Someone's here. Yay! Welcome. Please don't. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad to have you. Um, yikes. I can't see who it is because I covered up my thing. One sec. Let me let me thank you properly. My thing got covered up by the uh, by the thing. Hi, John. Hi, Amelia. Welcome. Glad you guys are here on this adventure with me because cave spiders. I hate them. I hate, hate. There aren't words. I hate, hate them. And they are here and they want to kill me and I have no milk left because they've already hit me twice and their spawner is right there maybe let's try this and see if it helps any it's usually pretty good with the helping with the webs get the webs out of the way I wish it would break spawners. Go. Then hopefully we can light it and run. But I would like to run where there's no spiders. Is that enough? I don't know. Where are you, you little rats? I know you're here. I don't want you sneaking up behind me. Look at, there's more mine to these caves. I don't know. We want a cave update. All of us want a cave update. Please do a cave update. No, please keep the caves small and predictable so I know where I can find stuff. Good grief. Here's one. You go away. I know. Stop it. Stop hitting me, you. I saw your little face. Where is it? Oh, sorry, Mr. Bat. I would never hit you on purpose. It's got to be one of them, too, because it's super fast. Come on. Is that another spawner up there? Maybe. There you are. Come on, coward. I'm the coward. I brought my golden apples, hoping that would help. Case fighters seem to have more string. Like, you always seem to get two from them and one from the other guys. I don't... Oh, hello, mister. Hello, sir. I was going the other way. That worked. That was a good move. Thanks. Don't know why, but good job. Now the question is, is there another spawner? And the answer is, there are no diamonds here. Where'd you come from? I don't know where, but you're going wherever. Another one. Why two? How two? How two of you? What's up there? Nothing. It's dark down there. Let's let's. This is way too dark for being in this room. I made a little safe room uh, just below this. A lot of copper. I would like that copper, actually. That looks really pretty with the gold. I have to remember that, actually. It's like a little building tip there. I do love how Minecraft is like just filled with natural building tips. Never get 
tired of it. Never get tired of it. You are a good thing for blocking the road. That's excellent. I don't know where that spider that skelly came from, but two skellies came from. I'm just gonna take you while I'm here. You look too good to be true. You must lead into a dangerous realm. Naturally. Or fall to your death below. Like that. tempting of a prize to be not booby trapped. There it is. I don't understand why it's only taking out one, but okay. Actually, we have a beautiful cave spider spawner that you can visit to get your webs and stuff here. I don't see any point in keeping these other than just death. That's all they do. That's all they're good at is death. However, however, one cannot get webs everywhere. I might take some webs. We'll collect the rest of the webs we find in the mine shaft because. Hey, Bonquisha, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love the caves. I hate cave spiders. <laughs> I have died more times building something when a cave spider has come out of nowhere. And, you know, obviously not, there's one, obviously not really out of nowhere, but I just didn't know he was there. Where'd you go, you little rat? I saw you. And I hate them so much. And I put Bane of Arthropods on my axe every time because... If I can't get them with a bow, I know they'll get me, but I always, 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 always have milk on my hop, um, not on my hop bar, but in my inventory, and I've used my milk because they tried to kill me yesterday. So, I love these. No, I do love the caves. I, I do. I think they're amazing. I just am so ADHD that it's like, okay, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> No, I want to get out. I can't because I can't find the out. I can't find the out button. Uh, we don't have, like we do on Eternia, we have warps. So I could just go home. But we don't have that here. So. I haven't really done this is like the first place I haven't done any kind of, of minecart transportation system on this server because there aren't trains or anything like that in the books that we're copying oh hello hello emerald and so uh, it's just kind of not been a thing um, but I do love them and I love to build them I think that you guys right here are about to become torches. Okay. Oops. Yeah, stick down. Pull up. Oh, you met the realtor today. Oh, so exciting. Did you go look on things? I mean, you have found one that you want? Do you have any like, uh, yes, destroy immediately. I have a beautiful cave spider spawner that I built on this, on this server. So if anybody wants string or spider eyes or heads, they can go get them. So I'm so glad. Oh, what did Amelia say? 
She wants to do graphics, probably. Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't need... Appreciate it, but... Yeah, no. Appreciate you thinking of me, but I am set for artwork. I'm actually a graphic artist. Or actually. I'm not so much as a graphic artist as I actually supervise graphic artists for a living. So... Got my graphics handled. I'm terrible at it, but... I like to play with it. Okay, what's over here? This looks scary and dark and unnecessary. Another one. Oh, that's the one we already had. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's put the kibosh on that puppy. We just do not need those anywhere because, like I said, we've already got a great one. Anybody wants to build a spider spawner, they can find their own a spider farm, but you don't need to. Just go to Saltern and in the Mesa Badlands, there is a beautiful one that you may use. It's very convenient, has beds, has enchanting, has books, has all the things you need to be comfortable for a long session of smacking spiders. It is, I will say, once you build them, very satisfying to smash cave spiders. You're wrong. All these things are so funny. You just know there's a creeper up here. Or with my luck, an entire whole other cave system. <laughs> oh my word. should be able to do there should be some thing I don't know how it would work there should be something that like you could look at your ender chest and it would tell you the location of all other ender chests you've put down although eh, I don't know how much that would help you'd have to know well I guess if you know where you are it might help a bit anyway Let's do this because we are so almost out of coal. Um, but we don't want to end up with a bunch of little copper bits in our inventory. Um, so you could then put down a, a, a nether ch uh, ender chest and it would be like a marker of a place you want to get back to. Not that you could necessarily teleport to it, but that it would tell you the coordinates and you could then go back to it. Does that make sense? No, no discords. Thank you. Thank you, Bumpisha. You got it. Um... Anywho, Realtor. She was great, very friendly, not afraid to tell you things straight, made sure you're all on the same page. That is excellent because that's what you want. That's what I did. I found a lady and I said, this is exactly what I want. And then she just knew what I was looking for and she just looked for it for me. Of course, we found our house on Zillow and uh, it was exactly what we wanted. I don't know. Does Zillow do Canada? I have no idea. But um, I mean, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm practically in Canada. Actually, Wisconsin doesn't even share a border with Canada, I found out. I thought we did, but no. But no, we don't. Whoa, you're dark. Unacceptable, sir. Zillow is awesome. And um, I found one, you know, they don't all bother with it, but I found one that had done the 3D home tour thing, and that was absolutely decisive for our purchase. But, uh, and I just had the real estate agent go to the low, to the open house and she went and she said, oh my gosh, I have never seen a house this gorgeous. You must buy it. She's like, I'm tempted to buy it. And then we had the inspector go and inspect everything. We paid for an inspection and he said, this is the cleanest inspection I've ever done. And if you don't buy it, I will. And I said, okay, then that's some pretty good recommendations. It appraised for a hundred thousand more than we paid for it. So that was nice.
I felt really bad for the people who moved out of it because they moved because they had to and um, I really felt awful for them because it's very clear that they loved this house and took super good care of it. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Well, you always got to do what you got to do. Sometimes what you got to do is not what you want to do. This is a lot of copper. A lot of copper for being way down here. Must have been a copper mine. Um, let's see. Where'd that thing go? Just a second, I'll put you all away and then I can pick it. Not you. Not you. With the empty bucket, it's useless. Unless I get lava in it, which I could do, but there. Let's get you. down there that's dark I think I did find an ore vein I think you're right because here's some of this good stuff not very much but some here's some of this good stuff some of that good stuff. Uh-oh. Darkness. Hello, darkness, my not friend. We are not friends. I am not here to talk to darkness. I will, however, collect your cobwebs. Because I have kind of collected all the cobwebs from the um, area of my spawner and from lots of areas in the mesa and there aren't uh Gintian was needing cobwebs for some kind of farm he was making drowned farm or something <clears throat> and um so i gave him a bunch we've obviously been there and not taken the redstone out but there was something down here that was dark too we definitely want to eliminate the darkness wind is just howling outside my window. I, I have, I guess I have the right kind of trees for making it howl. It's pretty funny. The forecast said thunderstorms, but oh, that kind of wind. Okay, let's see here. We didn't go down there. Come here, you. Oh, we didn't go down there either. That looks a little easier. Come here. Ah. Some friends are still around. Oh, he's stuck in a web. Poor thing. Sorry, dude. Put you out of your misery there. I actually think the webs are hysterical. You come with me because it sticks. How's the torch going? How's the torch sitch? The torch situation. I haven't found one single minecart chest yet, naturally. Of course, when I do, it won't have anything good, so that's a given.
Never mind one spider web. Not wild about the one billion kind. That's what I don't like. When there is a billion, I put torch, honestly. I do not want granite, sorry. Sorry, granite. I have no room for you, I'm sorry. My masons would love me to bring you home to them, but. I'm pretty sure I have some at home. You would think there would be one minecart chest in this place. My age-old complaint about the nerfing of treasure. So frustrating. I'm doing all this work, what am I getting out of it? Some copper, some redstone, some lapis. I want treasure. I want records. I want... Totems of Undying. I want unique and fun items that I can't get anywhere else. I want books. I want, why? They don't have books anymore in the things. They always had them before. Now there's never books in the mine shop thing. I say that and then there'll be one in the next one. Maybe not never, but there's not. The likelihood is too small for me. I never get them. There used to be horse armor. There used to be, which is, you know, frankly useless. But um, I suppose your horse doesn't think so. Some of my horses have horse armor. Or a copper vein for sure. It would be nicer if it were a diamond vein, but I'll take copper. I'm so excited about the new copper blocks. Can't wait for those. Yeah, trims have helped. And, you know, the sherds love the sherds. Oh, my gosh. I want to do the brushy thing all day. It's my favorite. It is my favorite game mechanic. I think that is brilliant. Whoever de developed that, they need a raise. Hi, here you, dude. Where are you? Go ahead, groan. I hear you. You are heard, son. I will put you out of your undead misery. Just come bring it. Don't bring your friends. Don't bring spiders. Look at all this. Look at this thing. Where are you, sir? Are you down one of these corridors? you are you poor thing look at you stuck on your little step there you go rest in peace son rest in peace poor little undead mobs so sad for them okay come here you Stay. You'll get used up. Tough. I don't have andesite in here. No, andesite can just. Andesite can do this. As can cobbled deep slate because we only have two. Alright, you go down here. Stone. Stone, yes. All right, we could actually probably not have to eat those. Oh, an ad is about to start. Enjoy the ad, guys. Maybe whatever it's an ad for, you could go buy it. I don't know if that helps me or not. <laughs> oh. Why does my stream preview say offline? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now it shows it. That was weird. 
That was weird. Well, I can't wait to hear because I'm so excited for you getting a house. Or anything, or an apartment, or condo, or whatever you're buying. I'm super excited because it is so good to be in a place that you can do whatever you want to it. You know, paint it purple if you want. You can put solar on your roof and not pay for your electricity bill anymore. Or whatever you want to do, it's great to be able to just do it. Yeah, I ended up super confused about why our house stayed on Zillow so long because it was such a great house. I thought, how is this not bought? How did nobody buy it? And we offered way less than they asked for it. They, you know, countered with like another couple thousand and we were like, yeah, sure. And I wasn't like much of a, I'm not much of a haggler. I'm kind of like, this is the price tag. But the real estate agent was like, no, we can get this for less. I go, all right, no. You, you're the one doing it. You know how to do this. I don't know how to do it. Oh, it's so good to have her. No substitute for expertise. Yay, ads are done. Yay. Uber Eats, iPhone 15, Quest Trade, lots of things. Horizon Zero. Wow, that's a lot of ads. I hope they give me a lot of money from people watching a lot of ads. I don't think they do, but I do think it helps. It has some bearing on the money they give me anyway, I think. I've gotten two checks from Twitch since I became an affiliate. That was so fun. It was really fun because it was like, look, I'm a professional streamer. Whee! It's pretty hysterical, actually, because when you think of basically your mom being a professional streamer. And you should see the looks on people who come to the door to sell me something like the guy that came to sell me fiber. And I said, yes, we need the best internet we can get. I said, I, you know, I stream on Twitch and I need it to be really good. And he's like, you what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one of those other ones. I like the little mixed, the little solid copper block. That's great. Hi, Mr. Bat. Yeah, I hear you and see you. You are heard. You are seen. How do I miss that? Okay, put that granite back. You can have the granite back. You can have your diorite back. Lots of both things. If I need them for something, did I? See, I looked over there and I swear it was dark. Come on, get up. You see how long it takes me to figure out that if I put one in my offhand and one in my regular hand, I can just switch them when I want to. <laughs> uh, just a bit slow. Just a bit, well, like I said, your mom. <laughs> if your mom played Minecraft, this is what it would look like. <laughs> she would dig in the caves all day. Shoot the creepers from a very far distance. Try not to die. Mostly trying not to die. I used to play League of Legends with my son when he was a kid. He, you know, he was 15. And I did not understand at the time why... He could not just 
pause the game to take out the trash if I needed him to or to uh, or to uh, come to dinner. I didn't I didn't understand that there were other real people in the world waiting on him uh, to do his thing. And so uh, it was very um, he said, Mom, you just need to play this game with me so you can understand how it works and then you'll see. And I said, all right, I'll do that, you know, so, and I loved the lore, and I loved the characters, and I love the snarky little things they say, and um, it's, just, they're so fun. Um, no, I don't want that one, I want this one. Uh, and I really loved the game. I haven't actually played it since they changed it, but um, I loved the way the game was. And so I would get on there, and I'd be playing, and there's all these kids, you know, that um, your fault wants to relearn how to copy paste. All these kids are on there and they're swearing and they're, you know, I mean, it was pretty toxic chat. And I would say, okay, boys, we're not going to do that this game because I'm the mom and I'm just a mom learning how to play the game and I'm a total noob and I don't want to listen to all this, you know, nasty talk. And they'd go, oh. <gasps> Oh, I wish my mom would play. Oh, that's so good that you're playing with your son. Oh, that's awesome. They'd get all excited about it. And then they'd be like, the guys on the other team would be going, okay, so I'm playing Kate and you're playing Aurelian Soul. So I'm going to be doing this and you're going to want to, when I do this, you're going to want to do this because that means I'm just about to get ready to strike. But when I, when I do this, you can see that will mean that my ult is ready and you don't want to be around when I'm doing that. So... Hi, little beautiful squiddly. Oh, sorry, you on the edge of the water. Um, so that's when you want to hit me, you know, or then run away. You know, they were just, they were fantastic. They were so funny and kind and sweet whenever I was playing. And everybody would go, League of Legends, that's so toxic. And I'd go, well, no, it, not always. But I did decide to start a blog about gaming online gaming so that moms would know what are your kids doing online what kind of stuff is in this game does it cost money can you spend money on it you know is there money you could spend and if you spent money what are you doing dude you're just standing there like a lump like you don't even see me so rude supposed to greet me when i come into a cave not not for me there we go that's more like it yeah, right, whatever. I don't want to kill the bats. That's not my goal. My goal is going to be to make more torches. That's what my half I do. So I did start a blog and I wrote a, my first blog post about League of Legends. You know, how much it costs, what kind of environment, all that kind of stuff. And uh, then I said to my son, what should I do next? And he said, well, you should do Minecraft early because that's what all the kids play. And I said, okay, I'll do Minecraft next. So I had never played and he helped me get started. In fact, he used his account and got started on it and started playing and just never looked back. I never wanted to play anything else. <laughs> That ended up being the history of that blog. Two posts. Minecraft and that's it. Just Minecraft and League of Legends. And the League of Legends post is woefully outdated now because it's uh, no longer no longer accurate. Alright, we have those. You get there. You go there, you go there, no, there, you, go there, you, go there, all right, now we have lots, now we have lots of torches, what do you have, do you have room for any of this? You do, and I can put you here. All right. But it was fun and my kids loved it. And my son loved that I played with him and he was, oh, he was so, he was so mean to me. I mean, he really was, 
Mom, don't do that. Mom, don't go there. Mom, stop dying. Mom, just don't die, okay, Mom? Just don't die. Well, I'm not trying to die, son. I Just don't die, Mom. Okay? You're making me crazy. Don't die. Okay, I'm sorry, son. I am sorry, sir. I am so sorry. I don't mean to die. When you die, you make them stronger. Stop it. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Well, I don't think I'm going to make it back to my little hidey hole. Look at this. I see you jumping in the water. Can't get out of it, is that it? shaft. Yeah, it wasn't that easy to get out of, I understand. I understand, Mr. Skelly Bones. That was a little challenge. Well, it was clearly a copper and gold mine. positive 16. We started at minus 16. We're a long way higher than we than our hidey hole. Not that we need to get back there for anything. We didn't leave anything there. And of course we could uh, put everything in our ender chest and die. But there's no need to get back there because uh, we don't know how to get back home from there anyway, so not like it's a key landmark or anything. I feel like, honestly, in this game, though, if you just wanted to dig forever, that you could just do that. Because these caves are endless. I can see how they physically fit into the world. It seems a little uh, Escher to me. Basic how verticality works, yes. It kind of is. Everything's amazing to me because I just like, like every time it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. Oh, look at that. I can't get out of this hole. <laughs> uh, one of the guys on another Discord was asking us to describe ourselves, Grumpy Tech. Describe yourself in a short sentence. And I just said, basically, your mom, if she played Minecraft. That's basically who I am. Mom and always mom and everybody. Some people are like, I don't need another mom. I have a really good mom. I'm like, good for you. Some people are like, I wish I had a mom like you. I'm like, you all be your mom. I'm happy to be your mom. I'm happy to be anybody's mom who needs a mom. Lots of people have great moms. Lots of people, not so much. Okay, here, not you you're on the wrong side over there look at that that just looks like a death trap down there it just looks like a place where somebody will shoot me or blow up on me or blow me up And I do not have any concept of judging how light is light enough. Which you would think for a graphics manager I would have more of a concept, but <laughs> I don't.
Yeah, the trouble with these people that want to advertise the graphic thing, I don't think they actually do that. I think they're just like bots or whatever. And they think that's something that would appeal to people. But like the one we had the other day, I said, okay, go ahead, join this Discord. It's full of creators. They would love to find someone who does graphics. They didn't they didn't join. They didn't post anything to the link. They didn't. Of course I'm also not shy about rejecting DMs either, so. There's no diamonds here. There's not going to be diamonds here. We did get a lot of diamonds, though. So, that was good. You're obviously lava underneath, because obsidian... Verticality isn't working very good. It's not in my favor. Ooh, the wind howling out there, man. Hi, Mr. Bat. I wish I could take you home with me. I can't. Guess we'll go here. This looks like it already goes up to a place we've been, so that's good. Well, okay, I see how you are. But this does goes up, and we have not been up here because this is dark. You're going to drop the whole ceiling. You might too. And I can't pick you up anyway. I think I have a place for uh, those guys. Um, you all keep. You know. I don't need these. I don't need these. Oh, I don't need bones. We have a skeleton farm, but... They, um, okay, do I tough? Yes. And a site, we can just, thanks. You go down there. Okay, so all these things are just sticking with me. Sticking with you, lads. Let me get with this. Sorry, like, and I don't want to. 
I don't want to mess up your shtick. Oh, take you though. Of course, we only have the other kind. Uh, all right, fine. You stay up there. You come with me. We didn't get this. We're back up to stone level, though, so we're not by uh, deep slate ores only. They just had to make it take two inventory slots, right? For each kind. Did that come down or no? So funny. Severed Fang! Welcome! Let's see, my favorite ones are the ones that go in Doc stream. We're like, hey, you need to update graphics. I can do that for you. And Doc replies, well, the graphics are new and I made them. I'm a graphic designer. Go away. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. I'm glad your mom is for your friends. My kids' friends like me more than my kids do. Actually, I think they like me more than they like my kids. But every one of my kids is like, you know, oh, all my kids' friends love me so much. My one uh, son, his best friend is Korean, and um, he uh, came, ooh, shiny pretty hiding. You were hiding, you little rat. Um, and he came last year, uh, and he said, it's traditional in Korea to bring your mom a box of Asian pears on New Year's. So I brought you this whole big box of Asian pears. Oh God, they were so good. So I learned a Korean dish to make with them, which is a, um, which is a dessert, but you also eat it if you're sick. It like cures colds. And so I think it's called Baesung. And um, so I made some for him with the pears and he was like, this is so good. This is as good as any I've ever had. And I was like, well, good recipe. I mean, I don't understand people who can't follow a recipe. That's that's an alien concept to me because I just recipes. Yeah, it's just a thing. Um, but uh, it's just directions. Follow the directions. Although I, to admit, I know a lot of people that can't follow directions. So, um, but it was funny, and he basuk, I think is what it was called, and uh, he was just so sweet. I'm like, I'm so happy that you think of me as your mom. And he has a really good mom, too, and a really nice sister and really cute family. They're really sweet. He couldn't bring me any this year, though, because, oops, wrong pick. Did it now. I did it now. You come with me. I guess we're going to have to make you into blocks and stick you with the other, because I do have those in there. I feel like there should have been more diamonds than just the one. I'm so greedy. I want all the treasures. Um, oh, here I can do that. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Oh, I don't have to do this. We have workbench. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Come on. It's because we have nowhere to go. We can't. Come on. Honestly. All of them. Thirty-seven. Oh, 
my power just flickered. Let's not lose power. That would be bad. That didn't affect the stream, did it? No. Deep Slate Coal is rare. Uh-oh, should I have saved it? Is that one of the flex things I should have kept? Too late, because I killed it now. Apparently does no good to tell me anything. Uh, gravel. Do we have gravel? Yeah, I do. Okay, I had that. That, okay. Nobody else can fit up there. I have lots of coal now. We also have, because I'm making so much effort at doing this, we also have private vaults. So I can just do um, PV, oops, PV1 and open it and put stuff in. There's the brushy brushies. I wish I had. I'm going to take this. That'll be good. I want you. And I can put you in there. I won't lose any of you. And I don't even need an ender chest. Gosh, and now I think we have two private vaults per person. Uh, I'm going to put those in there. Do I have sticks in here by any chance? No. No. But sticks would be good. Which really then you don't even ever need an ender chest. All right. We're blocked in here. Okay, there we go. Dug ourselves down and got ourselves stuck with copper. There we go. Now we can pick you up. And we can get you guys. If I go away suddenly, you'll know what happened. It was it didn't go off, it just like dimmed a little bit, so. They came today and replaced my uh, electric meter. I think they're putting in those ones that they can just read from the corner kind of idea. Um, okay, my feeling is we need to go back up here. I don't honestly know where. This says we came in this way, but. My torching was inadequate in this place. Here we go. This is better. Corridors are better. Look at all the copper. Man, we're going to have a copper palooza when we get going here. Oh, here's a big giant, of course. Cave. Look at this thing. Why? Just get the copper and then we should get this copper first, right? Adventure. Bah. Overrated, that's what I say. When I played single player, I always played on peaceful. <laughs> All the servers I've joined, they want to be on hard because some villager thing. Okay. If you insist. Oh, that was the right one.
Thank you. Thank you for the coal. Appreciate you. Now I would like the iron, but not in those bits. Although now that I've remembered that I have work bit, workbench and private vaults, I could consolidate the iron. We have that on Roadcraft, and Skelly plays on Roadcraft, and he liked it from there, so he put it in for our world. I don't know how much server power that takes. Okay, good. Well, it's a cave lighting adventure. Chill Minecraft stream. BMW and Simply Financial. Look at me. Look at me go. BMW, I'm coming up in the world. My ad should be like, Advil and cold and sinus medicine. <laughs> Chicken soup. Here's what your mom would advertise. It's never occurred to me actually to put all the basics and things in my private vault. I have spent so much time mining diorite for my masons so I could get quartz for Alder's Tower. That was quite the project. Um, so what I could do is guess I could put everything I have in my private vault and die and that would take me back to my hidey hole then I could break the bed and die and that would take me back to spawn then I could get everything out of my vault and put it back on again So that would be an easy way to get home. I know, can you hear it? It's so loud. It's so loud. It's not steady, but it's but the wind we have here does not get around. Now, at, in California, we had these horrible, Southern California, we had these Santa Ana winds. They were horrible and they made everybody sick because they just brought all the sinus stuff and like everybody who came to visit California in January when the winds came would just got sick. Um, but here the wind isn't like that. It's not like 90 miles an hour like those were. They would knock over trees and houses and all kinds of stuff. But these winds are just persistent. So anything that you have that you want that's outside <laughs> had better be fastened to the ground or something else or really heavy because the wind will just blow it over to the neighbor's house oh this is one of orchestrario's ones where he taught where he was talking i thought if i put the orchestrario on today that then it might like drown out the music of anybody who made the copyright thing snort at me Look at you down there. Look at you down there. There might be diamonds down there. I'm only at minus two, though. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. It sounds like people are having an argument in the apartment next to me. I don't have an apartment next to me, of course, but... Um, 
that's part of the music. I can change him to a different track because it's weird. I want this one. Start here. There we go. I don't like it when he gets into the, um, there's ones that have talking and I don't like those. Well, what do you think? Looks like death to me, don't you think? Let's see how bad it is. Okay, it's one of these rooms. These usually have a creeper, maybe a spider. Sometimes baby zombies. <laughs> and the illusion of sunlight. make sure that I have a um, ender chest in my private vault because my ender chest is where I keep all my things so that I could always get one then I wouldn't have to carry them around and leave them everywhere terrified for the day thing. Of course the spiders were more terrifying. There aren't many things that could kill me. A uh, creeper could and has done. Diamonds. You guys have diamonds. All the copper, though. Ooh, lava. Back in the good old days, there'd be a zombie right behind me waiting to push me into that. You'd be shocked if I don't lose power or internet. Yeah. Yeah, I think talking in songs is strange, too. Yeah, those copyright. I don't understand how I how I don't understand how I'm sure that I got my things from Twitch. I'm sure that I I'm sure they're part of Twitch because I don't think I paid for any um, alerts. And so how could they be not copyright free? I don't, I don't understand at all. It's like how is that possible? Did you not? Did I come in this way? This is the way I came in. Sorry. Look, stop shooting at me. Look, you. You're going to be sorry, and I am sorry, but maybe you'll be happy. I think you're just trying to provoke me so that I'll kill you and you can finally rest in peace. There you go, sir. May your bones rest for a long time. I do not understand. It's like absolutely boggles the mind. Like, did you not give this to me to use? I assumed. Is it like that Twitch claims it and because I'm putting the video on YouTube, it's not okay on YouTube, but it is on Twitch? I, I don't know how to tell. I, I, by the way, somebody tried to help me today to help me look at them, so I haven't done it yet, but she at least reminded me that they're in OBS. 
So she said, just go into OBS and check the alert, and then it'll have a link to where the alert came from. Then you can look on there. And I was like, okay, well, then I can leave them a nasty note like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't object to paying for people for things that they create. I'm not a stealer of creating. I am a creator, so I naturally don't steal other people's creating. But I do use the free ones whenever I can, of course, and appreciate it and try to give them credit and all that. But <laughs> Twitch alerts are like I even have any alerts. It took so long to get set up, I don't even know. So I'm like, well, okay. Nursing Geek had to really nag me. She's like, you need alerts. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> she had to help me with everything. Like, you gotta watch the chat. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not good at this. I'm just a mom. I'm sorry. I do, I'm good at momming. <laughs> uh, I'm good at being the one to say, you gotta put that in the dishwasher. <laughs> Why is that on the sink counter? That's me. I'm the, I do that. Uh, gravel. Go there. Great. And I think, why do we have 20 andesite? That's too many to throw away, though. Here. There. We'll do that. And it was it, wait a minute, was I supposed to go out there? There was, a th there was a whole world out here. It's a whole new world out here, right, that I was supposed to go to? No, this was a dead end. All right, this was avoiding the whole new world. And then I'm also supposed to be simultaneously watching my phone, I guess, to see who's. Yay. There wasn't an inch of dirt on the soundboard. Nice try. We gave a friend a harpsichord for his birthday. And he said, oh, I cleaned an inch of dirt off the soundboard and now it's much louder. I'm like, no. There was not an inch of dirt. I ended up with your arrows and bones anyway, sir. I am sorry. It wasn't clean, though. I, I will admit that. We had just moved it. And we had just gotten it before we moved it. So it wasn't our dirt either. <laughs> And add quotes. I'm just a mom. I'm sorry. We do. Is there one of those? I don't know how to do that. I know that some people can do that. Make like quotes that let's say things and then people can uh, use it in the chat. I don't really have all that engaging chat stuff and I don't. I, I want it. I just don't frankly have the energy to get it all set up. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it and I don't know where to find it and I don't have the energy to worry about it and I know that I should and if I had a hundred people watching right <laughs> It'd be a little different I'd go well I better do something for these hundred people I have pictures of my cats that you can use as emojis they're there oh no wrong pit dang they're not great pictures of my cats but they are pictures of my cat I thought that was good that people could use pictures of my cats. I don't have any cute, I don't have like a, like a trademark, right? I don't have like a, I have no more torches either. Oh, there we go. So, um, I don't have like a, this is my thing, right? I collect unicorns and dragons. I suppose I could make some dragon thing. I've been trying to think about making, you know, like a business card kind of idea, but I, I don't have like a, like this is my thing, right? Some people do. They have like, this is my shtick. I do the Wizard of Oz. I'm, that's my thing. I don't have a thing like that. That I would go, this is my trademark. This is my brand. My brand is doing this. I do too many different things to, um, to do that 
So I have to think of something, but I don't know. Maybe some people could go. This is my thing. I don't think being a mom really has huge branding possibilities. Look at me all digging straight down like I haven't died doing that before. Oh, yes, I have. Um... quite the cave. In fact, I'm like, unless it's really obvious, my daughter just told me today that I could pause the timer on the New York Times crossword puzzle <laughs> because I didn't know that I could. My husband started talking to me this morning, which made my puzzle take like two minutes. And I'm like, Dude, you ruined my time. She's like, you know you can pause that. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I did not know I could pause it. Because there's not a button that says pause. She goes, just close the app and it'll pause the timer. I go, really? I figured it would just like keep going and I would be like nine hours on the puzzle. So funny. It's all that like intuitive stuff that you guys just know intuitively that I don't get and that I don't have access to in my brain. All right, let's see. Do we have, do I have anything in here that's wood? I have only that one stick. Why can't I use arrows as wood? This is a huge question in my life. Why don't I have more wood? With, I do have tons of wood with me. I just have to find it. Okay, I'll put you in there. You guys all go in there. So, oh, a little donation of an air of a bow. Thanks, sir. Very kind. All right. Oh, thunderstorm in the game. Wood. Take you, thank you, sir. The silk it is. There, so what I will do is this. Um, let's take here, let's put this dirt right here. If we do that, there we go. Then we always have one with us. Hello, doik. All right. Takes me a while. I do eventually get it, but it does take a while. My thing is this. I come from an age <laughs> where I just need instructions. I can do anything if you give me the instructions. If you expect me to know the instructions without telling me, that doesn't happen. That cannot happen. I also come from an age where a big, huge portion of my job that my most recent job I had was writing instructions for people who needed exact instructions for how to do a project. And so I expect, I expect there to be precise instructions for everything. Look at all this stuff. Hi, dude. Wow, you're well, you're well turned out. No, I think we'll. There we go. Here it's some armor. Nope, wrong pick. You've been digging your own gold armor in here, huh, dude? I see how it is. But not diamonds. So, I mean, if people tell me, oh, all you have to do is do this, I go, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I appreciate the instructions. But if people say, you need to blah, 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 but they don't tell me how, that does not helpful. I could set up a bot, maybe if I look at how to set up a bot on Twitch and then, then Google it and then...
Then I have to remember what the quotes are. You're going to have to keep track of my quotes, Moquisha, so I can... So does your, does the Bonquisha thing, does that, I, cause I saw somebody else with that name the other day and I thought, no, there's not another person with that name. D is it from a game or something or a book or where did you get that name? Is it like a real person that you know that name? I did. I, I'm trying to remember where it was. Um, it was in a thing, but it wasn't you. And I was like, there can't be two people with that name unless it's a thing i didn't know if it was from a book or from a game that i hadn't played or isn't that funny where was it that i saw i mean i was sure it wasn't you but maybe it really was if you just didn't say hi to me which seems unlikely uh it was um shoot it's just that everybody seems to know how to say it and I always want to say Bonquisha because I always want it to be French. And that everybody I see says it the right way and I don't. I keep saying it the wrong way because I still want it to be Bonquisha. It's a nickname with nothing to do with it. So it's just something that you got for, like I call my daughter my sweet Georgia peach from the city of Boston when she is neither from Georgia nor Boston. I think she may actually have been to Boston, but I don't even think she'd been to Georgia. Except for changing planes in Atlanta. When you were in high school, you were giving a friend a ride to school and you were late picking her up and for some reason she texted you Paul Christian Jones for her. Uh, but she didn't get it from a game or a story. Are you sure it doesn't come from a book then? Maybe she read some book and went like, that's a fun name to make up though. I love it. Well, when I saw the other one, I thought there can't be two people with that unless it's like a thing. So then I thought I've got to remember to ask her if it was a thing. Totally random. You've asked her and she has no idea. Bonquisha. Do you like Bonquisha? Okay, thank you. I keep, I want to say Bonquisha. Oh, here, sorry. Oh, let me deal with this young man. Sorry, sir. Yes, rest in peace. Uh, I want to say Bonquisha and I keep saying it and then nursing geek keeps saying Bonquisha and she's always so precise and exact that I think it must be that, that Bonquisha told her she wanted to say it that way. And so then I'm like, I don't know. I always want to say people's names right because I hate it when people say their name wrong, when people say people's names wrong. And since we've talked about French so much um, and using or not using it in chat and whatnot, I thought, it's got to be. She's Canadian. It's got to be Keisha. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, horribly unimaginative here. You're fine with it. Since it's not actually your name, that makes it Bon. Yeah, and I'm fine with Bon too, if that's okay with you. I mean, I'm fine with people call me Viv. Nobody needs to call me Lady Vivian or try to type that out. That's too long. Mine comes from, mine actually does come from a book. It comes from um, Mists of Avalon. Uh, hey, whoa. Oh, it's a torch. I thought it was a spawner. Um... Marion Zimmer Bradley, uh, Arthurian fiction. I'm actually an Arthurian scholar, and uh, she wrote an Arthurian fiction book, the story of King Arthur. And in it, Lady Vivian is the Lady of the Lake. And she's actually also Lancelot's mother or aunt, because of course he's Lancelot du Lac. Oh, that was weird. I hear you, blah, blah, blah. So that's where I Lady Vivian comes from. It's my favorite book and has been for. Don't fall down there. Stop it. Start 
start with the wrong pack, then use the wrong pack. I hear ya. Pick those up. All right, where are you? You're awfully insistent with your groaning and growling. That is so hysterical. I love that story. Thank you. I have no nicknames that people have ever given me. And my mom actually chose my name because... Well, there is a nickname for it, but I've always been adamant that I don't use it. But um, she chose my name because she didn't want there to be nicknames. She's not a fan of nicknames. She always hated when people made her name into a shorter. Sort of. She sort of hated that. But then she also goes by a shorter version of her full name. I don't understand her, but anyway. Okay, we can workbench this into this stuff. That'll be good. And then we can put that in the vault. Can't believe I forgot we had that. Did I not put those in there? I guess I didn't. Let's do this. Put that in there. I put them in here. Huh. All right. What don't we need? We don't need this. How many does this have? That's full. So much stuff. You can be a random piece of whatever, and people will wonder where you came from. Bon Jovi, you're still here, John. Yay, so glad you're here. So, John, did you decide to... Oh, that's so sad. I hate correcting people, having to correct people. And I'm always very careful when people introduce themselves to remember what they said and always call them by how they introduced themselves. And then I'll meet a friend of theirs who'll go, why do you call him that? Like, I, a friend I have introduced himself as Richard when I met him. And um, then, you know, somebody would go, oh, you're doing that with Ricky. And I'm like, with who? And they're like, with Ricky. And I'm like, do you mean Richard? They're like, yeah, Ricky. And I go, I can't even imagine calling Richard Ricky. And, but I guess in one certain friend group, he was Ricky. And another one, he was Richard. And I, I just call people by how they introduce themselves to me because I figure people will tell me what they ought to be called. <laughs> All right, obviously somebody's got their panties in a twist here. Dude. There. I still don't see the zombie that has been yelling at me. No. No. Well, look at all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. And undoubtedly a lot of friends that want to come meet me and play with me and be my friend. Do you want hugs, dude? There you go. go. Go attack him. That's funny. I think that's hysterical when they do that. You guys are so funny. Why you hit each other? That doesn't make any sense. And it looks like I'm about to ruin a perfect squid spawning cave. But since I have two shulkers full of squid ink, thanks, Scully. Thank you, Skelly. Um, obviously. And since the squid seem to spawn anyway, whether it's dark or not, they don't seem to notice. They're supposed to care, but I don't think they do. I've been over there. Is that where I just was? Or is that... I was just over there, right? Let's take care of you. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Suddenly I'm a terrible shot. I guess the squid ink goes over the waterfall. I don't see it down there though. Let's go way down maybe. There it is. So do you risk life and limb to go get it? I don't know. Sure you do. Feather falling. That's what it's for. I mean, this cave wasn't that far from spawn, so... It is certainly conceivable that it has been pre-explored. Oh yeah, when well, you can't get up here, what are you thinking? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I wish I could really shoot flaming arrows that lit up the ground down there. With actual light. That would be good. I see you, skelly face. He goes, yeah, I see you too. But I don't see any diamonds. There's another... I don't see a way out either. What are we at? 13. Hmm. or over torch because I can't judge my light overlay doesn't work and my none of my mods work actually so there's a creeper sorry sir sorry mr. skelly bones Okay, well, I'm just sticking with Bonkisha, and then if people want to correct me, I'll say I verified with you that it was okay. I always automatically adopt either the French or Spanish pronunciation for everything because that's what I studied in school, French and Spanish. So, to me, everything that is not clearly English is French or Spanish. Two diamonds. Look at that. We'll just, we'll just pop them right out of the floor. Which pick are we using? Silk, yes. Only two. I don't need all those granite things. Don't need iron either. I got an iron farm that's like over hyper active. Oh, I could put you back in though. Hi, Mr. Zombo. Oh, are you going to fall in there? That's silly. Why are you doing that? Is that going to be your grave? Sorry. Goodbye. Apparently it is. Oh, you're going to give me a potato. That's so thoughtful. You're so thoughtful. A potato. He gave me a potato. Aww. That's what are you going to give me a potato, sir? Very kind. Oh, here's a skelly I killed, apparently. I thought I saw the flash of eyes over there, but it looks like it's probably a squid. Ooh. Okay, there's deep slate coal. Am I supposed to save that? Is that a flex item? Hi, sir. Oh, hello. You're all following me. Did you blow up the zombie at least? No, that was so rude. What are you doing, dude? Blow up the zombie. take it anyway like like stone diamonds I didn't get stone diamonds did I? I did I got di diamonds and stone I gotta keep them I gotta keep them separate they're for decoration only they're not diamonds for use oh, you picking up my extra slate thanks so thoughtful so got you picking up 
blocks too. I don't remember dropping any of those blocks, but thanks. Why are you carrying that stuff around, dudes? Who else has been here dropping blocks? That sounds like a like a music term, dropping beats or something. Dropping blocks. I'm just dropping some blocks, man. Okay, there's too many of you for just a normal amount, so I think that you are probably coming from some spawny thing over there somewhere. You, I could do without. Because you will try harder to kill me than these guys. You, not a favorite. Not a fan favorite there. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, good. Mine shaft. Which means it could always be the nasty spiders. Is that, well, here's the question. Is that the same mine shaft I was in before? Or is it a different one? Yeah, yeah. Could use the shield. That would be a thing. So John, how did you decide? Are they, I'm sorry, ads. Oh, I'm sorry, too many ads. I mean, I suppose Quincy, which is probably not English, but people say it with a qua. And people say queen, you know. There aren't a lot of Q words anyway. So John, how did you get to be the goat? Because I mean, that's a pretty tall statement there. That's a statement for sure. This. I need those guys, I guess. Those are a thing I need. Honestly, why are you in this hole with me? Go away. Silliness. I'm sorry that the ads are annoying. Twitch, I'm sure, is, you know, it's Amazon. It's going to be annoying. It's going to be both fabulous and annoying because that's what Amazon does best. Combining fabulous with super annoying. I tell you, I was really mad the other day. Well, not only did the thing that I ordered and wanted to receive in time for my party did not come, and then now they're telling me it's never coming, and so they reordered it because it's lost somewhere in Delaware. Why it was even in Delaware, I don't know. And then on the snowy, scary blizzard drive the other day, which I hope never to do again as long as I live, um, an Amazon driver almost ran me off the road. I was so mad. I was like, dude, this is not what I expect from Amazon. I expect a little more customer service. Yeah, blow up, whatever. And uh, so... All right, that landed right on that spider. You, sir. Targeting you. Any other takers? <gasps> Calcite. Look what we found. Oh, my favorite. Oh, yes. It's not even a very big one. Oh, I don't mind decimating this one. Look at that. Oh, this is my favorite. 
too. We'll have to block off any any people who might come visit. Don't need you. Don't need your help. Thank you. Got it. I got this. This is one I feel like it's small enough. I could just take the whole thing and it won't matter. We actually have... I actually set up a farm where people could go wait if they want to AFK for Amethyst. I have a farm for everything on this server. Let's do this. That's all blocked off. This is blocked. I think anybody else can get in here, right? Woohoo! Yes! Calcite is like my favorite new building material. Oh, you too, huh? Yes, absolutely. You just realized this weekend is... Oh, Easter. Yes. Oh, you get to go home. Oh, that's nice. Now, do you guys get like Easter Monday off or something? We don't get that here in the U.S., but... I know they do in England and Australia. I didn't know if Canada did that too. I just poured water all over myself trying to drink from a bottle because I am lame. Um, that's better. You get it. Oh, he doesn't, but you'll get to have a nice time at home with your family. I'm so glad. I always feel so happy when you talk about visiting your family because you always seem like you enjoy doing things with them so much and you guys have such good like traditions and you have stuff you do together that you always do and I love it. I love it. Let's see. These things can probably go in their bones. What else could go in there? None of this. Oh, good. You, you no 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 all right but you know what we have pv2 now supposedly ha empty pv2 go 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 in there in there in there potato 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 you know all right so now we could just take all of this woo hoodles uh, what I like to do, take these guys. I've got silk, right? Because that's critical. I'll just make a hole in the wall. I'll start with that. That wasn't actually what I was going to do. Um, I'm just going to take these and let them go there. Very careful to see where the little square, the hitbox thing is. I don't want to damage the buds. And then the rest of the buds can grow again while I'm taking the rest of the stuff out. Come on. Let's make a floor. Let's do that. That seems like something this needs. We may end up putting everything in our vault and then dying. I mean, either that or I can cheat. I am an admin on this server, so I could just, you know, I can just pop into a spectator and slip through the walls and go home. I don't, I try not to, because it seems kind of cheaty. I don't want other people to go, how come you can do that and I can't do that? And I have to say, because Skelly likes me better than you. I'm sorry. Just a thing. <laughs> I actually really like the basalt too, but I don't. But I can make it, right? So I think this stuff, right? It's polished basalt, right? A smooth basalt. Yeah, I can bake regular basalt and get that. So I don't need to harvest it.
One thing I have not built on this website yet is a basalt generator, but I think that Gilly may have. But calcite and then blackstone, also my favorites. Um, you know, you just can't get them. You can't make them. You can't buy them. You have to get them. It's actually kind of time for some deep nether exploration on this server. I got some TNT. I have a whole shulker full of TNT. I don't need netherite. I have it, but when you go down really deep to get the netherite, that's where you really find the blackstone. The best, unless you're going to take a part of Bastion. That's your best, uh, best source of it. I'm going to go up here. It's, what time is it? Oh. I hear my son talking, and he might be talking. Oh, yes. My, my kids grew up with their... Um, my kids grew up with their cousins, too, and um, are very close to them. Uh, they actually, the cousins, have all now moved far away. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yikes. Um, but... Uh, my kids grew up with their cousins. Actually, I did daycare for my sister when her kids were babies. And so my kids were basically raised with them. And uh, they love each other like Zibs. It's so cute. And none of them ever fight or argue or, or any of that. I don't have any of that sibling. Even my kids don't argue with each other. They never have, even when they were little. It's kind of funny. I hear my son talking downstairs, which may lead me to believe that my husband is home. I'm going to collect all of that. Stuff. It all falls. It all falls down and makes such a mess. And they all fall down. You're not. You're not. You can come with me. I have more sides. I think there's just no point in even taking the buds because they don't. Can't do anything with them. So. Oh, I hear lava. Did I just hear lava? I think I heard lava. I do hear lava. I'm not going to be very happy if I pop into a lava. I need to get some... Uh, to get some uh, blocks out of the out of the um, vault and use them for full construction here. No, not you really. That's okay though. Actually, you could do that. This is not going to be a convenient geode that anybody can visit. Oh, I mean, they could, but they aren't going to want to. So it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be functional right now for me. All right, you are not a bud. Well, my husband promised to take me out to dinner tonight. Very fun. We're gonna go have Mexican food, which is, you know, in Wisconsin, an interesting experience. But we actually have a restaurant that the people are from California and they're actually Mexican, so so it's actual Mexican food, which is very good. A lot of times, people's idea of Mexican food and actual Mexican food differ greatly. I 
like it's always funny that you're not harmed by falling rocks. There we go. All right. Iron. That's ironic. You can grow. Grow for me. Okay, did I get no, I did not. I was saying, did I get all the calcite? No, no, I didn't. My son has written a paper that he is presenting at a math conference. So we are headed to Southern California this week for two weeks. So he can do that, and I can spend time with my family, which is great. And my babies, my grandbabies, I love so much I get to see them. I'm so excited. All right, you guys are all buds, right? Okay, awesome. And it's all bright and shiny in here. Yay. And all this stuff is safely in our thing. Yes, yes, safe, 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 safe. Almost three stacks of calcite. Woo hoodles. Very exciting. Okay, put you in there. Put you here. Awesome. In math, is there even something? I know. I know, right? My my butter chicken. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Uh, my go-to Mexican food order is uh, my husband loves uh, chili rellenos, but not if they're spicy. I am a new fan of uh, my recent fandom is um, uh, birria, the birria tacos. But oh god, they're so good. They're so salty though. But then um, I also love ceviche, and I also love um, like the seafood enchiladas. And the Mexican restaurant we have at home just has so many favorites, and he never knows what I'm going to order. Well, my son orders it. My husband orders the same thing every time, and so does my son and daughter. Um, but uh, yeah, we all love to eat there. But um, I, uh, what was I going to tell you before that? You said. Oh, at math. Yeah, my son just finished his degree in pure math, and he's going to graduate school to get a doctorate in pure math. Uh, he leaves in the probably the fall for that, probably August. School, I think, starts in late September. And I just, it's like that stuff that people write on whiteboards in movies where you look at it and you have no idea what it means. There aren't even numbers in it. That's the stuff he does. And he loves it so much. And it's just, it's so surprising because in school, he was not good in math. He was not good in any subjects really particularly he's an excellent writer but he's not um he doesn't care to do it and he doesn't read and he doesn't like it and everything but he is so good and so he's just doing this math stuff and he's doing these research projects with his professor so the project they're doing now um has to do with archimedean solids which is a class of of solid shapes that have specific traits to them and some guy wrote a book in the 70s where he talked about Archimedean solids and he said that um, all Archimedean solids will fit inside a regular tetrahedron and uh, with the sides touching four of the sides and he's and they're like but he didn't offer any proof for this any there's no evidence of it there's no and no one has proven this before so he and his professor sat down and wrote proofs and 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 talked and studied all the different kinds of solid shapes and everything and wrote this proof about Archimedean solids. It's like absolutely crazy. And um, he's talked about it so much. Um, yeah, burrito is not a thing. Archaeology is amazing. It is wild. I, I love archaeology because I'm more interested in people and why they do the things they do and what they do and all that. So I've loved to learn why historically people do the things they do. And But uh, he is just so into this. It's just so funny. But his ideas are so solid and he really wants to come up with better ways to teach kids math so that it's not so 
crazy because we teach kids one thing when they're little and then they get a little bigger and we go, yeah, that one thing we taught you, that's not really true. It's not, that's not really it. It's really this. And then, then they get a little bigger and we go, yeah, that medium thing that we taught you, that's not really it. It's really this. And math keeps changing as you, as you progress in the instruction of it. And it's nuts. It's absolutely crazy the way we teach children math. And he is trying to come up with ways that will make it uh, more obvious to kids why math is special and also, you know, just like help them to better understanding when so that when they get to calculus, they're not like, what is this? Kill me. My brain is fried. They are instead like, oh, this is a natural progression of the things that we've learned before. You know, so he's really into trying to improve the math, the math curriculum. So I'm so proud of him, though. It's just so amazing. And, you know, he goes, Mom, will you read my paper? And I'm like, well, yeah, but <laughs> will I understand any of it? But we've been talking about the same project for so long that I did understand most of it. And, of course, I'm always impressed with his writing. But, uh, you know, he knows that the English major here, I will, you know, tell him if he missed commas or if there's other, you know, things he should do. Oh, this is a dangerous place. Oh, but there's nothing out here. Um, so anyway, it's funny. We've all been reading his paper and trying to get it ready for presentation and publication and whatnot. There's our lava. There you are, sir. You're just a little lava and you're hiding diamonds. So I say no. I say no to you, lava. So I guess what I will do is, whoa. Gosh, look at this place. Why is it always so endless? I'll get my diamonds here so I can say I got my diamonds, obviously. That is what we're supposed to be doing, finding diamonds, not amethyst. <laughs> amethyst is always a find worth stopping for. Um, but I think what I will do is go and see if they're home and what's going on and get my Mexican dinner. Um, so I'm going to actually stop in this cavern, this geode that I just snuck out of and didn't leave a map to. Uh, all right, we're in here and we're blocking ourselves in. That'll be obvious because it's cobble. So I'm just going to AFK here so that these geode things can grow again so I can collect as many crystals as possible. Hopefully nothing will kill me. I think it's light enough in here that nothing will kill me. Your history and archaeology joint honors. Wow. Stayed away from the stem seals. Yeah, calculus. Well, so me too. I was always fantastic in math, and I wanted to be a veterinarian. And um, in our area, there's there was only one college, one veterinary school you could go to. And so, um, but in order to get in, you had to have five semesters of calculus and I was like what that's insane I don't want to send animals to the moon I just want to be a veterinarian but the entry requirements to the veterinary college required five semesters of calculus so I started out my biology degree and by the third semester I was getting a D and I was completely lost and I was like I don't understand this even a little and I would go to every single tutorial session and every single discussion session I was at every lecture and I read the books and I still it was like I have no idea what you people were talking about I had and it never no one ever explained that it has to do with plotting things on a normal curve which I totally understand because I understand statistics fine and um the whole derivative thing I just no idea just none and so I just and I said to the my counselor, I said, I don't understand why this is a requirement. He said, because they try to weed you out of the, out of the system. They try to weed out people who can't do this. I go, well, they weeded me right out of there. And he said, you know, you really need to change your major to English because you're such a good writer and you're such an avid reader and you're so good with words that English is really where you belong. And I said, okay. So I I, uh, mine for advanced 12 was great, but I just, when I got into actual calculus in college, I was just, I did AP calculus in high school. <laughs> I got into actual cal calculus in college and was just lost, so lost. And so, uh, so they talked me into switching to English and I did, and I was always thrilled um, and I loved my English degree and everything that you get out of, out of college and you're like, now what, you know, <laughs> first English degree, of course. I feel like you can get hired anywhere because people need proofreaders and con now you need people need content and oh ads darn it 
I have to wait till the ads are over to say goodbye, I guess. <laughs> Too funny. Where's the thing? Let me see if I can find the thing that shows it. Nope, it's not that. It's over here. Is it done? Oh no, it's one minute, one minute to go. Okay, mine shows 57 seconds to go. Oh, okay, good. It says 48 seconds. It says to me, it says in progress, 44 seconds to go. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> as long as they're done for everybody. Okay, let's see. We can find somebody to raid. Let's see who's who's streaming. Anybody we know? Anybody we like? Big Dean is still tr streaming. Twitch doesn't know what it's doing. You're so right. Uh, Bruno, Danny is streaming. We haven't brought him any visitors in a while. He's a good one. He's funny. Let's go see him. Let's see if I can get his channel up first so I can... No, I don't want that. I just want, I don't want that one. I just want regular Twitch. There he is. He's got an ad right now too. I've got his favorite quesadilla, which I guess is supposed to be Taco Bell, probably. Which, no, you're right, doesn't really count as Mexican food, but it's good. I mean, I like Taco Bell. Okay, here he is. He's back now. Let's go. Let's go raid him. Thank you, Von Keisha, for hanging out with me and John and everybody. I appreciate it. Even the people who are trying to sell me stuff, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Oh, burrito, barbarito. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. I like that. That sounds delicious. Chipotle's kind of like that, too. Now, let's go raid Bruno. Okay, let's go. I think there is... I'm going to see if we can add a... I don't think an invisible data pack... An invis